94 Rocks, The Dark. It is that time again. It's time to get to know a band we play here on The Dark. And tonight on the phone, I have Justin Myers. He's the drummer from the band Broken Side, which, by the way, was a winner of the Rock of the Dark New Music Poll recently with their latest song, Cartographer. And we'll talk about that in just a little bit. But first of all, Justin, thanks so much for joining me on The Dark. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for having me. Hey, we want to get to know a little bit more about the band Broken Side. Of course, you guys are out of Knoxville, Tennessee, and I believe you started not too long ago. Uh, give us the history, I guess, of the band and how this all came about. Sure. Um, so it's been about three years. Um, I was I was the only guy that wasn't from Knoxville. Um, so I moved here from San Diego and met up with, you know, first it was Jesse, our singer, and uh, and Jonathan, which is our you know, the first guitar player, those guys grew up together out here in Knoxville. So um, so I moved here, and these guys had been playing music in different you know different bands and stuff, stuff that just didn't kind of fall together. You know, maybe it didn't work out as a group with other people or whatever. But they had um they had basically like a, a notebook full of music that they had already written, and um, I came in and. We, we sat down after a couple months of talking back and forth online and uh, they played some of the stuff for me. And I was like, all right, man, this, you know, I think, I think this is something that I like, you know, it's, it's my first, it was my first time in a r- original band, you know, I'd been doing covers and, you know, playing all over the world with just people in the Navy and just doing random stuff. But, uh, but these guys had, had some good stuff together, some good ideas. And uh, we ended up getting together Three, the three of us brought in a guy named John Wiest, who is uh, the other guitar player, and then we found Skyler, our bass player, and it just kind of we hit it off. You know, it was like I'd say love at first sight, but it was it was really like all of us in the room together just kind of worked, you know. And so we started writing music, and we we've gone through kind of the whole notebook of ideas that those guys had originally, and then started adding things. So you can kind of tell, you know, if you listen to our first EP, um, Follow the Truth, that was basically all written by, by Jesse. And uh, with, with you know, us adding our own little flavors to it. But then the next one comes out, and that's um, Fathom, which is, that's our latest release. Uh, and that's all of us. So that's really kind of our, you know, that's our baby. You know, it's it's the first kind of produced music that we put out that was really the whole band, you know, writing everything together. It wasn't, it wasn't an idea by one guy or a couple of guys that was already kind of put together. It was, you know, it's us. So we're super proud of it. And, uh, and we've got more on the way. So it's kind of a basic background. I'm kind of curious. Uh, so everybody else is from Tennessee. You're from San Diego. First of all, <laughs> I'm sure that you're going from an area like San Diego where it's always 75 degrees every day and great. Now you're going to Tennessee. What's that been like? Well, it's uh, it's it's colder. <laughs> but honestly, man, yeah. So I grew up in Louisiana. Okay. And uh, I joined the Navy, so that's why I was in San Diego. I did a lot of time out there on a couple ships, and um, and just. You know, it, I don't know if you've been to California. It's beautiful, but Jesus, it's expensive. <laughs> yes, you I know? do know that. It, yes. You just, yeah, you just can't live out there on a, you know, a good salary out there is, you know, over a hundred grand just to live. So, you know, you move to Tennessee, there's no state tax and it's just, it's nice. You know, we got Dollywood. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's, it's pretty good. So you know, it's a, it's a nice place to live. So you're from Louisiana originally, so you, you, you're in Vols country now, Tennessee Volunteers. Uh, so do you root for them now, or are you still an LSU kind of guy? Or weren't you ever? Yeah, I mean. uh, I've, I've kind of fallen into it. And my neighbor's <laughs> a hardcore Tennessee guy, you know, and uh, and some of my buddies out here. So And Jesse, you should see him, man. We, we go to a show, and if it's a college football day, he's like on the side of the stage, you know, right before and right after the the show and he's out there with his phone watching the live, you know, the live game <laughs> rooting for Tennessee. <laughs> Absolutely. It, it's crazy. Uh, the, just the, the college atmosphere, especially uh, and you're in Knoxville too. So you're right there with it. So that's gotta be cool. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's, it's pretty nice. 
So you started a couple of years ago. Obviously, if, if I remember going back a few years ago, there was this thing called the pandemic. How how did a, a band start during a pandemic? Give me that, I guess. How, how was it for you guys? You know, luckily, man, we being in Tennessee, they didn't close anything, really. Um, we had we had the opportunity during the pandemic to to write. You know, we we didn't have to worry about playing shows, getting out because there was nothing happening. You know, we couldn't play shows. Um, so we spent every weekend here. You know, I've got a studio at home um, on the second floor. We'll talk about that later. Uh, you know, carrying stuff upstairs, man, it's crazy. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we we treated the pandemic like our own little, you know, personal writing time. You know, people got sick. Um, I think all of our guys got COVID at some point. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think Jesse's had it twice. But we we use that time to write. I mean, we we kind of came together as a band during that time. There was nothing else to do, so we just we used it. You know, we wrote a bunch of songs, and uh, and learned how we how we meshed as a band. So it worked out pretty good. You know, we can call you a baby band. We're talking, by the way, with Justin Myers, the drummer for the band Broken Side, and it, you're you're kind of a, an up and coming baby band. So has the band really? even got an idea of the direction you want to go? Are you still learning kind of about each of yourselves and figuring out kind of how you want to brand this band? That's a good question. <laughs> um, <laughs> might be too early yet, right? <laughs> I think, yeah, it might be too early. No, I think we know, we've realized that, hey, we've got a good thing going. Um, we write music that we like to listen to, it's, and it's not, it's not what you're hearing every day you know, on, on the radio or mainstream, um, you know, we've, we've kind of set ourselves aside a little bit where we're writing stuff that's a little different and, and it's melodic and heavy and good. And then our growth, you know, we've reached a point where we're like, okay, we joined curtain call records, um, because yep. we needed to get, we needed to get our music out further than what we could do ourselves. And I think that's where we're at right now. We're like, we know we want to keep doing this, but we needed an avenue to kind of reach more, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's, I think that's where we're at now. Uh, we're, we're trying to push out to different states and different countries even, you know, um, and just, just build our brand. Yeah. And, and, and obviously you need help to do that, especially in this industry. I mean, uh, if you've been around for a while, and, and you've got a name, maybe you can kind of do it by yourself. I, I understand that a lot of people are being independent and working, but still you do need a little bit behind the scenes to help you get out there. And it sounds like uh, with Curtain Call, you've got uh, John and, and Gigi and all the, the staff there helping them. You guys, uh, that's got to help you out a lot. Oh, yeah, it's a big, it's a big help. You know, we've, we've gone from just, just our reach you know, Curtain Call has a, a larger reach, and you probably know John. Uh, John and Gigi, they also have um, Rock Rage Radio mm -hmm. under their belt. Yep. So that's a that's a huge, you know, almost a conglomeration, you know, on, on social media with all these internet radio stations. So it's really helping out. And uh, those guys are doing exactly what they said they were going to do, you know. And it, it's, it's good so far. Uh what is the ultimate goal for your band? Where, I guess, where do you want to see yourselves in uh, 10 years? Uh, I mean, obviously, hopefully all together still. That would be the one thing, because longevity sometimes in rock it doesn't always last. But I guess, what is kind of the ultimate goal for you guys? What is what you're shooting for, I guess? Kind of give us the that, that uh, aspect of Broken Side. I mean, world domination. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> You know, the same thing everybody wants. But um, honestly, man, we I think you have to take it. We take it back to the basics. Uh, we want to write good music that's different than what's out there already. And we want to uh, we want to reach as many people as possible. So in 10 years, you know, hopefully we've got hopefully we've built this to the point where we're recognized. You know, our, our music is recognized and, and loved. And that's really what it's all about, like. We want we want people to be like, oh yeah, I, I know that band Broken Side, and we're not talking about the '90s, you know, or the the early 2000s Broken Side, which that's a whole dilemma. Um, we've kind of got the same name spelled differently, so mm -hmm. it's a little weird at times. Um, but 
we really just want to grow this as, as big as we can and hopefully people latch on and love the music. Yeah, I know? guess I am curious about the Broken Side name a little bit because, as you mentioned, I think there was something else out there. How how has that been and is that kind of a mess or is it? Uh... <laughs> no, it's it. So if you Google Broken Side, first thing that's going to pop up usually is the other band. Right. Um, and they're spelled with a C-I or C-Y-D-E. You know, it's, mm-hmm. they were kind of a pop punk, like um, mm-hmm. funny band in the early 2000s. And we get that a lot where people are like, oh, it's that band from, uh, what was it? Not Facebook. Um, what was it before Facebook? What do we have? Uh, MySpace? The, MySpace. So the MySpace band, they were super popular. And... Uh, we didn't know that, <laughs> you know, we saw that there was another band called broken side, but, um, it didn't really, didn't really matter at that point, I guess. Um, so we get it every now and then they're like, Oh my God, it's broken side. And then they realize it's us. And they're like, Oh, you're not the same band. Oh, but you're good. Okay. That's fine. You know? Yeah. So every now and then it's, it's weird. Nice. But it's not too weird. We're talking to Justin Myers, the drummer of the band Broken Side, and of course uh, we're talking to him because a few weeks ago your song, uh, Cartographer, was a winner of the Rock of the Dark New Music Poll. Uh, give us a little bit of the nuts and bolts of that song and the history and uh, how that all came about. Oh, man. So the um, so Skyler, our bass player, actually came up with this. Um, I say he came up with it. He, he came up with a bass riff. And we, we started building from there. He he starts the song out if you listen to it. Um, but the song itself is kind of about finding your way. Uh, if you get on YouTube, you can see our video. Um, it, it was kind of a post-apocalyptic, grungy, you know, fun video to shoot. But it but the song's really about just anybody kind of finding their way through life, you know. And uh, it's just, I don't know, man, it's a... It's a good song. It's a fun song. We love playing it live. It's got a great reaction from from the audience and from fans. So, um, yeah, take yeah. a listen to it. Listen, you know, check it out online. Look at the video. See what you think. Yeah, I was trying to kind of, you know, I don't like to compare bands and stuff like that. Uh, do you get any comparisons from anybody uh, on some of the music? Now, obviously, the music I've heard from you so far is just a small sampling. So, obviously, you have a a larger uh, catalog of music, but is there somebody that, uh, and I don't, I hate it when bands, oh yeah, you're pigeonholed to this or that, but is there anybody, I guess, right. that you have a, a kind of a similar sound to, even though you've been saying on this interview the whole time, we are, we're kind of a different sound than what's on the radio. Right. Um, it's hard to say it. Yeah. I hate to do the whole pigeonhole. Thing. Yeah. Uh, I've played I've played a lot of Tool in my time. See, and that's what and, I and my drumming kind of. I thought you sounded way, more like so. a perfect circle a little bit. Obviously, Maynard yeah. James Keenan. That's yeah. that's where I kind of felt a little bit. So I, I was so I was on the same track then. I think. Yeah, a, a little. Um, we put in our press release. I think it was for fans of Tool, uh, okay. Johanny, and um, and Seven Dust. I think mm-hmm. got kind of, you know, we've got kind of that early two thousands feel, but I guess it's a little refreshed. You know, um, best way I could probably put it. We've heard, we've heard different things. You know, everybody gets their own opinions. Um, but yeah, it's probably in that vein. If you if you like early two thousands rock, you you probably like what we're doing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, how about the future for you guys? Uh, I know we talked about you know in ten years, but uh, presently, I, is there going to be uh, another album? You have an EP out, another EP, a, a touring. What's going on, I guess, for the future here of Broken Side this year? Yep. So currently, I said earlier, I'm sitting in my studio. Um, I look over at the board. We've got the whiteboard with all the you know stuff on it, telling us what to do. And uh, there's there's ten songs on the board right now that are that are being written. So we're we're experimenting with some different uh, different tunings. Uh, that's one thing we we kind of mess with different tunings and uh you know there's there's some ideas so we're looking to try to finish some of these songs and maybe put something out by the by the summer and then hopefully a full album maybe a 10 9 or 10 song album uh, a little bit after that um right now we're just we're just writing we're writing music um looking to fill up our calendar um getting into you know the spring and the summer and then see where see where we go from there basically 
Are you looking to get outside of the uh, Tennessee area then into other states and that? Is that kind of the plan? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're working. That's another thing with Curtain Call, John, is uh, we're working on a couple of festivals, uh, hopefully, you know, hitting the road, maybe get out to Sturgis, maybe uh, come up to see you guys. There you go. Yeah. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe in the warmer months, we'll stay away from the ice fishing. <laughs> You know, yeah, you can't ice fish in the summer. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. The lakes are nice, though, right? So, ah, uh, yes, they are very nice, and the, and we have we have just a few here. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just a few. So you should be able to find <laughs> one. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's the plan, though. Hopefully, we we get out of state. We're looking at uh, we're looking at Florida and uh, a couple of other things happening so nice. we don't want to announce anything until it's all solid absolutely hey, if more people want information about broken side how can they get that you can jump online get us at uh get us on facebook broken side 865 or just check out our website at brokensideband.com uh, we've got some some cool links and some great merch on there if you want to buy some stuff please do uh, we could always use the money. You know, we got to put kids through college and everything, too. So Absolutely. Absolutely. Justin, thanks so much for joining me and uh, letting us know a little bit more about the band Broken Side, and we're going to play your latest song, okay? All right. Thank you, sir. Take care. Once again, that is Justin Myers. He's the drummer from the band Broken Side. Yes, they were a winner of the Rock of the Doctrine music poll a couple weeks ago with this song. Here it is. Cartographer, it's on the dark. 94 Rocks.